Bombshell Report Congress is to be rocked by a massive scandal in the next 72 hours. And these are the details. Congress has had a pretty rough month and according to a bombshell new report, it's only going to get a lot worse. An investigative reporter from the Daily Caller who broke the story about Debbie Wasserman Schultz, corrupt ID aide Imran Awan, has revealed that there's about to be a mass resignations coming from Congress in the coming days. Luke Rosiak tweeted on Friday that the sexual harassment scandals in Congress are just getting started and that we're about to see the floodgates open regarding secret settlements and even more allegations of misconduct. Quote, Congress human resources scandal is just getting started. I anticipate we will see the resignation of more than a dozen House members over harassment and secret settlements, and soon, end quote. This is what Luke Rosiak tweeted December 15th. Using the now famous TikTok tweet, Rosiak promised that the House of Representatives is about to be rocked, quote-unquote, by the stories in the coming days. He says, mark my words, the House is going to be rocked in the next in the coming uh, 72 hours, TikTok, end quote. That's in three days. For those unaware, Rosiak also broke the story of Democrat Representative Gregory Meeks of New York paying out a settlement with a former aide after she claimed she was sexually assaulted at the business of one of his major campaign donors. In addition to Meeks being outed, there's been numerous other high-profile resignations from political leaders in recent weeks, the most prominent being Democrat Representative John Conyers, the longest serving member of the House. According to Daily Wire, the following politicians have also been caught up in sex scandals in Capitol Hill. Democrat Representative Al C. L. Hastings from Florida. A Treasury, the Treasury paid $220,000 to settle allegations against him made by a former congressional staffer that claimed he touched her, made unwanted sexual advances, and threatened her job. The next is Republican Representative Blake Farenhold from Texas. The congressman announced on Thursday that he was retiring after former staffers accused him of making sexually graphic jokes and berated his aides. He previously settled a sexual harassment claim, claim made by an employee in 2014. Democrat Representative Ruben Kihuen from um, Nevada. Multiple women have accused the Pelosi-backed congressman of sexual harassment. Democrat Senator Al Franken from Maine. Franken announced that he would resign last week after multiple women accused him of sexual assault. Franken has still not resigned despite his promise to do so. Republican Representative Trent Franks from Arizona resigned after he reportedly made women, unfortunately, by, uh, by asking them to be a surrogate mother. Additionally, news broke on Friday of the first female to be taken down by allegations of sexual harassment, and guess what? She was a Democrat. According to the Kansas City Star, Andrea Ramsey has abandoned her run for Congress after an old sexual harassment case came back to bite her in the behind. She first made a move on a male underling at a former company, and when he rejected her advances, she first demoted and then fired him. While Rosiak did not name any specific names, there's been rumors that there's numerous members of Congress who have used taxpayer money to silence their accusers. Thankfully, it appears as if we're finally going to learn who they are. This is on American Freedom Fighters.